Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. And today we're going to be going through everything we found last night, which has the potential to be an absolutely epic haul. So first off, we got the freaking TV. I found a plug that fits it. It does look like it lights up, but is it, does it work? I don't know yet. We're going to try to cut that on at the end. We got all the game cases. We checked the one Halo one yesterday, and that definitely had a game in it. So usually when there's one game, there's more. So we could potentially have, what, 14, 15 games right there. We also got another package from the P.O. box and three GameStop bags over here to go through, so a lot to do. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you also follow us on our social media links. The links will be down in the description below. Back in the notification bell. Let's get into it. So we're going to go through the bag first. We're going to take it from least exciting to most exciting. <laughs> go through the bag first. I forgot to mention, the mystery box I mentioned the other day. It came in today, so it will be out tomorrow. Take a guess again. Who do you think the box is from? It's going to be a cool video, I can tell you. And this little bag right here, if you watched it yesterday, we took it just because you could see this through there. Is it in there? It's not in there at all, but look at the case. Like, what the heck got a hold of that? A Tyrannosaurus Rex? Somebody took a whole chunk out of that right there. That must have been a big dog that got a hold of that case, I'm telling you. Um, I think that's all that was in this bag. Yeah, that's all that was in there. But if you see a case, you got to take it because there could always be more hidden in there. Let's go to the next smallest bag, and then we'll go to the biggest bag, and then we'll get into this stuff. We even got the sign back, man. We're pro now. The sign's been MIA lately, but it's back. God, they're like triple bags. All right, let's see what we got in here. First is first. What is this? God of War or something? A God of War. I guess it's like a book. I think they do this and they give them to the employees and they tell you like where to put up certain advertisements in the store and what date to put certain ones out, depending on what games are coming out and things like that. Just trash, honestly. Um, let's see if we got anything else in here. Doesn't look like it. No. I just took that back because I felt a little bit of weight to it, but it looks like that weight was coming from that little booklet, which is trash, which sucks, whatever. Let's get into this. This is the biggest of the bags that we found last night, so let's hope we got something good in here. We do have a lot of gift cards. Now you guys got to tell me in the comments. I used to give put gift card codes at the end of the videos, so maybe there's money on them, maybe there's not, but you guys have the chance to find it. Let me know if I should keep doing that, because we should sure find a lot. There you go. Oh, we skin? I think we found another one last night too. It's, I forgot it's actually still in the car, but another Wii skin. Let's see if we got anything else in here. A crap ton of dead batteries. One of my favorites. I love finding dead batteries. Um, let's see. Come on, bag. I think like literally all the weight is coming from... Ooh, hey red box. But I found money. BAM! Guess who's a whole cent richer right here? Still, I can still say, I found money in the trash. That's the thing. We got a red box thing here. Nothing in it, but still, it even has a Games Up sticker on it. Like, they put a Battlefield sticker on a red box case, and they're like, forget it, we're selling this crap. Very nice business ethics, GameStop. Like, just can you imagine walking in GameStop and trading it? <laughs> like, I want to trade in Battlefield 1. It's in the red box case and everything, and they just don't care. Um, let's see. Come on. There's got to be more than that in here. There's really not. There's a gift card here that has a sticker on it. It says 1587. Maybe there's something in there. Who knows? Uh, let's see. But other than that, this bag is... It's trash. How dare they? I've said it before. They shouldn't be throwing trash in the trash. They meant to throw out good things that I have interest in. Messed up my sign. What should we get into now? Let's go into package. Then we'll go through the games and see if the TV works. If that TV works, I'm going to be psyched. I mean, what do you think that is? 32, 40 inch, guys? I mean, that's got to be a pretty good sized TV right there. It's a nice one. It's dirty, but we can definitely clean it up. But let's get into the package here. Dun, dun. Look at the stamps though. Batman stamps, that's pretty cool right there. That is pretty sweet. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I might need scissors. Give me one second, be right back. Sorry about that guys, that was a fight. That was a fight, this, this bubble wrap was not giving up easy. But in here we got an Assassin's Creed 
three sleeve, which I think I just ripped a little bit, but no worries. I got I got the case with a few extras. But there we go. Look at that. Assassin's Creed 3 on the PlayStation 3. I'm curious, did you actually find this game on dumpster diving? That's pretty cool. Either which way, it's awesome. But the condition, like it looks like it's never been touched. Like, absolutely looks brand new, completely out of the package. It's crazy. I mean, that there's not even a smudge on it. Like, it looks like you take it right out of a brand new case and put it right in there. And we gotta read the letter. I feel like Blue Skull's gonna get these. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Jeebus. I wanna thank you because you're the reason I started dumpster diving. Keep up the good work. Thank Well, you know what? Thank you. Oh. There was the answer to my question. P.S. I found a game in a dumpster down there. <laughs> That's ironic. I just asked how far I read the message. But I'm glad you enjoy the videos. I love making them so much. I love dumpster diving. Glad I can get other people in the dumpster diving. Like, so many dumpster divers take this crap so competitive. They're like, don't let people know. I'm like, it's trash, man. And just enjoy it. If you can let other people enjoy it and save stuff, let them enjoy it. I'm glad our channel got you into it. I love doing it. And I'm glad you like the videos, too. So thank you. That's going to go on my door. That's going to go on my game collection. Now... One of the moments of truth, right here. Are these games in here? Let's, hold on, we opened, which one we opened yesterday? Halo, right? The original Halo, we saw this one on video. We know that one was in there, for sure. So, let's hope the other ones are in there. Let's just start going through some random ones. First we got Max Payne 3. It sounds like it's in there. It is, both discs are in there, look at this. Max Payne Disc 1. And this too. Let's check the condition though, because I have found a horde of games before, like six of them, they were all rings. And again, that looks like it's never even been played. A disc looks brand new. So, okay, I'm not even going to check the second one. If the first one's good, that one's going to be good. But there we go. Max Paint 3, actually. Don't remember playing this. This is by Rockstar too, so this might have to be something I play soon. Borderlands 2. Crazy guys. Look at that. Borderlands 2 right there. Hold on one second absolutely full like all these games look brand new they don't even have smudges on it's like they they clean the discs and then throw them out <laughs> three games already four games including the one we got in the mail so four games so far today battlefield three sounds like it's in there to me look at that wait whoa, whoa, whoa. okay no it's, it's backwards this is disc two and this is disc one but both freaking discs are in there i'm not even going to check the condition no more because i mean three are in that great of shape i'm assuming they're all in great shape but battlefield three for the 360 Ooh, look at this. Tetris World for the original Xbox on one side, then Star Wars Clone on the other side. So is that two games in there? Oh, wait. It's a disc. It's one disc that has both games on it. It has Tetris and Star Wars on there. Stupid dogs upstairs, shut up. But it has Tetris and Star Wars on one disc. That's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And again, now nah, this one's a little scratched up, but it's still definitely going to work. But it's just not as in flawless condition as the other ones were. Another Halo, which one is this? Three? Halo 3. And it's in there too. All these freaking games are about to be in here. I mean, the first day we come back, 14 games or so, if they're all in there. They look like they're going to be. Skyrim, I know that's in there, obviously. I wonder if it's in there. Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> Skyrim, one of my favorites. Gears of War 3, I hear it already. And it's in there too. This is insanity. Insanity. There's an Xbox One game too. Star Wars 2, the original trilogy for the original Xbox, and that is in there too. It always, it's weird when I find like original Xbox games at certain game stops because I've been in there and I know for a fact they don't take older trade-ins, older than 360, yet they throw them out. It's kind of like, I don't know where it comes from. I feel like they let somebody trade it in just so they can sell them something more expensive and get a small amount off so they're more likely to buy it and then they just trash it. But NBA 2K15, that is in there too. This is absolutely insane. We gotta do like a count at the end of this. Ooh, Resident Evil 6. I actually don't have this game. I remember it though, it's really fun. Oh, disc, both discs, two discs again, look at that. Like usually, a lot of times when you find games that require two discs, you find one of the discs and you just gotta keep it and hope you come across the other one. But all the two disc sets have been both in there. Halo 4 too, again, both freaking discs both halo discs the amount of games we have right now is insane it looks like we're gonna go complete halo 2 we got like all the halos just about didn't we star wars the video game in there original xbox right there the last one is kind of wet and sticky but oh well halo 2 
and it is in there. Every single one of them had a game in it. Now, that's the GameStop that used to be our honey hall, but the security guys busted me one time, and like, we don't want to see you here, and for some reason, we just came up with the idea the other day, like, they don't want to see me there. You go, and I'll stay in the car. So that was our theory. We went, and it sure paid off. Well, let's count these games up. One, two, three, one Xbox One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games found in the dumpster and one in the mail. So 15 freaking games in one video. That's a pretty epic haul right there. Now for the real moment of truth, because if this thing works, that's epic. I mean, we definitely gotta clean it. I really don't even wanna touch it. It looks like cat puke and bird doo-doo and who knows what else, but let's figure out how to cut it on. Is it over here like mine? Oh, I pressed something. Dun dun. Ah, oh. so it does work, but it's got an internal crack, and unfortunately, the majority of the time with an internal crack, it's not worth fixing it. Like the repair costs are going to cost more than replacing the entire TV, so that's probably just going to go in the trash. I mean, I'll put it on Craigslist, see if somebody wants it for parts. Sometimes certain TVs, more popular ones, you can get like 20 or 40 bucks off of them for parts, but a lot of times in their crack screens, you're just it's your trash now. You just trade a trash. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to freaking complain. The TV might not work, but it's still found a TV, and we still have 15 games in one haul, which is pretty freaking sweet. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. But if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. Don't forget to follow us on our social media links. The links will be down in the description, along with the P.O. box will be down in the description. If you want to send anything at all, we will always open whatever you guys send on video. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.